In today's society, we're often judged pretty harshly on how we dress and what our appearance is. So today, I'm going to show you how to tie a tie. It's something that many people don't know how to do, but it's always good to have in your back pocket, just in case you have a special dinner, business meeting, or any special occasion. The next step is to button your top button, and then place your tie around your collar. The next step is to make the thicker side of the tie twice as long as the smaller one. So, once you get that done, you're going to want to loop this around the front, like that. And then once that's done, you're going to loop it all around the tie. Alright? So it should be like this. Now, once you have it in this position where you've wrapped it around the smaller end, you're going to take this and place it around like so. Alright? So what I just did was went from that position, that's out like this, and went under the back side of the shorter end and placed it over. So now it should look something like this. So, you're going to have the thicker side of the tie over the smaller end. Once you've done those steps, you're going to want to take the thicker side of the tie and find the loop of the smaller end. So you're going to see that it's going to be right under the thicker end of the tie. And you're going to want to find that loop, maybe get your thumb in it, take this end of the tie and find the end of it, and place it through that loop in front of the smaller end. So, you're going to pull it through, and then you're just going to adjust it so that it's flat. Uh, that's important, that way you get rid of any creases that might be there. And just, you know, fiddle around with it, just make sure the smaller end is completely behind the bigger end, because uh, you really don't want that showing too much. Once that's like that, you're going to want to just like tighten a bit, and that's a basic knot. Um, there are plenty of others, like half Windsors, full Windsors, however, this is an easy way to do a tie, it's very simple to learn, um, and especially if you're not used to tying ties, it's a very easy way to get it done. So, once you have it like that, you're going to notice that it's just like a normal tie, so if you want, you can tighten it, some people let it stay a bit looser. Um, regardless, once you have it like that, just make sure it's tightened, and then you're going to find the smaller end of the tie and place it through the loops in the back, because otherwise it'll just look like that and won't be so great. But you're going to put it through these two loops, that way it won't be flopping around. <laughs> and there you go. So you're going to fix your collar. And then again, just give it one more extra tug to make sure it's snug. And that's how you tie a tie. Congratulations, you just tied your first tie. So once you have that process done, you can flip back your collar and just make sure that the tie is pretty snug. For a business meeting or dinner occasion, it never really looks right if your tie is just loosely falling. So just make sure it's pretty snug and you're in good shape. Now I do have some tips for you just in case something didn't go right through the process. For instance, if the shorter end of the tie is still too long, an easy fix is to just place it behind one of the buttons like so. That way it won't be moving around. It is an easy fix and ideally, hopefully through practice you'll have it right, but occasionally something like that does happen. If you've stuck through this tutorial to the end, I want to thank you for going through it and hopefully now you've learned something on how to tie a regular tie knot.